welcome to this special series of Earth from Space interviews on the European Space Agency Web TV. Thousands of people are currently debating possible political countermeasures to climate change at the COP21 summit in Paris. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change has long recognized the need for global observations of so-called essential climate variables, which we at ESA are providing from satellite data within its climate change initiative. Some of the leading scientists on the essential climate variables have been kind enough to explain just what they're measuring within their project, why it's needed, and what it is good for. Let's go take a look. So the oceans cover two-thirds of Earth's surface area, and the temperature of the ocean uh, is really important for more or less everything in, in the climate system. So for example, if you think about sea level rise, that's partly due to thermal expansion of the oceans as temperature rises. If we think about how weather systems respond to changing patterns of sea surface temperature, they um, are very responsive to changes in the surface temperature distribution. Uh, so that might affect whether Europe has a, a wet, mild winter or a, a dry, cold winter, for example. Uh, you can see in our data uh, ocean currents uh, as different as water of different temperatures uh, move past each other, and we get a very detailed view of that in the data sets we produce. So one of the challenges we faced is to, to try to bring together 35 years of data from 16 different satellite sensors. And that has to be harmonized so that we can accurately compare a temperature measured from the 1980s with a temperature that we might measure today. To date, we've worked on a period of 20 years. And the challenge we're now facing is to extend that to 35 years because essentially the longer the data set is, the more applications it will have in climate science. 